a few months into the relationship, I decided to move in with the love of my life. Life went well until my sister-in-law started demanding for a child for his brother. This, however, was very violent, coming with abuses, accusations, that I was barren and insults. I remember my man siding with his sister and I was sent out of the home, dead track, I had nowhere to go, no one to run to except God, which forced me to reconsider moving back to my home that equally had nothing. was gladly welcomed by my auntie who was literally struggling too but on arrival I was shocked to hear my auntie congratulating me upon my pregnancy. Little did I know that I was two months pregnant. Life with my auntie was not a piece of pie on single bite but rather a hurdle. My auntie tried life with me to a point that she got frustrated and bitter for I didn't have any help from the father of the unborn child. and hard words, little to eat, beatings and roofless nights. I was so empty and looked to nothing more in the world. I became terribly depressed that I lost my mind and resorted to feeding on my own poop. I was told three weeks later, after recovery, that I was a mad woman running the streets of the village, but was better because of the intervention of the church. I was then reconnected to the father of my child who was not happy to have me back. Unfortunately, he had become a drunkard and an abusive man. There wasn't a day I remember in that house that there was a joke or a laughter. It was always you, this, you, that. A couple of weeks later, I gave birth to a bouncing baby boy and my sister-in-law came running that indeed the child was theirs. Little did I know that evidence was in vain. My man became more abusive and used me like a horse. He would beat me up and the little child until would turn blue. I remember a night he returned in the wee hours of the morning and demanded sex. On refusal, he threw the baby against the wall, all in the name of creating his space to rest. I thought I'd lost my child and in anger I slapped him. Trust me, by morning I could barely walk.
read for months, I joined a woman's group for hands on skins. These ladies introduced me to church fellowships, prayers, community resource works, counseling, and all that. Ever since then, I found peace in Jesus Christ. I had an intimate friend to cry all my problems to, but still did not save me from the beating at home. Two months later, I was able to invite the church into my home. They prayed for my husband, counseled him, and in a very long time, I could sit and hold a peaceful conversation with him. I will not say all is right, but I'm grateful to God that things have changed a bit and I will forever be grateful to my church for encouraging us to love and live.